Here's who stood out during today's OTA. Keep in mind the 49ers mostly did seven on seven drills, i.e. no pass rush. And when they did 11 on 11s, they did not wear helmets. The good, quarterback Trey Lance. He completed 17 of 20 passes today, which is impressive. And it's also to be expected from a starting NFL quarterback in seven on sevens. I mean, really the ball shouldn't hit the ground very much when there's no pass rush. Uh, but what, what was impressive about what Trey Lance did was how he performed. Uh, sure, there was no pass rush, but at the same time, he couldn't extend plays. He couldn't do play action. He had to line up in the shotgun, get the ball, and throw it quickly, like he was Jimmy Garoppolo. And he did. He didn't hesitate. He didn't hold the ball too long. He got the ball rocked and fired, repeatedly, like he'd been in the offense for years. It's good to see. Cornerback Trevarius Ward. He gave up zero catches during team drills. Got targeted only once while covering Jawan Jennings. Uh, the pass was thrown by Lance and Traverius Ward broke it up like it was no problem. Now, we should probably expect that from Traverius Ward. He's a better player than Jawan Jennings, but uh, good to see. Wide receiver Jawan Jennings. He got targeted five times, a team high five times during team drills and caught three of those passes. The two he didn't catch uh, were not his fault. They were errant throws. It's clear that Trey Lance trusts Juwan Jennings. They've been working together all off season and Jennings is a security blanket possession receiver. He has really strong hands. Lance is looking to him frequently. Wide receiver Malik Turner. He had four catches in team drills and made the best catch of the day. A 60 yard touchdown catch in which he beat Tazir Mack and George Odom. Uh, more on him in a minute. If Malik Turner keeps playing like he played today, he's definitely gonna make the team. Uh, right now, he's looking like this year's Trent Sherfield. Tight end, Ross Dwelly. He started at tight end in place of George Kittle, who didn't participate in OTAs today and had four catches. Four targets, four catches, no drops. It's a typical Ross Dwelly practice. The guy is the MVP of OTAs every year. Maybe the Niners will eventually give him the freaking ball. I mean, I think some people are thinking he might get cut. He started at tight end today. He looks really good. Uh, what else is new? Offensive tackle Justin School. He practiced for the first time since tearing his ACL about a year ago, and he looked 100% healthy. He had no brace on his knee, and he even started at right tackle in place of Mike McGlinchey, who won't be healthy until training camp. Cornerback Sam Womack. He played both outside and in the slot with the backups and didn't give up any catches. He broke up one that was intended for undrafted rookie free agent Tay Martin. Uh, if Womack continues to play like this, he will definitely be in the mix to start at, at nickel corner. Right now, the starter is veteran Darquise Denard. Doesn't mean he'll be the starter week one, though. Running back Jordan Mason. He had the longest run of the day, a 70-yard explosion through the tackles for a touchdown. I mean, once Mason made it through the line, he just outran all of the 49ers defensive pursuit, which was really impressive because I didn't think he was fast. And 458 exploded on that run. The not so good. The entire offensive line, zero starters from last year's offensive line practiced in today's OTA. Trent Williams wasn't there. Lakin Tomlinson's on the Jets. Alex Mack is mulling over retirement. Daniel Brunskill has knee tendonitis, and Mike McGlinchey's still recovering from a quad injury. So the left tackle was Colton McKivitz. The left guard was Aaron Banks. The center was Jake Brendel. The right tackle was Jalen Moore. And excuse me, the right guard was Jalen Moore and the right tackle was Justin School. The backups, the left tackle was someone named, hold on, wait for it, Sam Schluter. The left guard was Nick Sakel. The center was Keaton Sutherland, never heard of him. Right guard was Spencer Burford and the right tackle was Jalen Moore. Not ideal. Safety George Odom. He gave up a long touchdown catch while he was the last line of defense. Can't happen. Uh, now I think we're seeing why the Colts almost never played Odom on defense, relegated him to special teams and didn't want to re-sign him this offseason. Not sure exactly what the Niners saw there. I think they're just really looking at him as a special teams guy. And I think it's clear that Talanoa Hafunga is going to be the starting strong safety for better or worse. I mean, he's clearly better than George Odom. Running back Ty Davis Price. He dropped another pass in the flat today, which means in two practices in front of the media, he's dropped two balls. Quarterback Brock Purdy. He was the only quarterback today who got intercepted. Purdy stared at his first read, decided he wasn't open, panicked, forced the ball to his second read. The pass got tipped by a defender standing five yards in front of him and then finally landed in the hands of nickelback Quantrez Knight. It was a vintage Jimmy Garoppolo interception. 
Maybe that's why the 49ers drafted Purdy. Defensive tackle Javon Kinlaw. He still isn't healthy enough to practice, but today he was healthy enough to confront me on the sideline, call me lots of curse words, and flick the baseball cap off my head. Baby steps.